Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a little quick review of a cheap Wilcore Outdoors Bowie knife that I've made some modifications to. I've actually had this knife for a couple of years, and um, it served me really well so far. You know, any tasks, I even baton with this knife. Uh, what I did was I got rid of that crappy compass that was on here, okay? And uh, the compass itself is the holder, is the thing that holds the blade in the, in the handle, and it had some uh, play in it. After a uh, few tasks, uh, there I noticed some play in it. So I, you know, took that thing apart and uh, bolted it down, you know, just a bolt, a nut, a couple of wing nuts. Now it's on there, it's sturdy. Um, very fairly comfortable knife you know to hold it like this or like this or you know for carving tasks like this you have that choil here you know and the choil if you notice has a nice 90 degree angle on it i get pretty good uh, sparks off of that much better sparks sparks than i get with my with the original um striker that comes with the ferro rod also you know you can hold it like this for you know these kind of tasks anyway but this is the modification that i did to the knife and uh, this is the sheath uh i this old uh, piece of uh you know uh backpack from a backpack you know old sewed it uh onto the this end for you know tying it to my thigh when i'm wearing it uh as a dangler and added a d-ring you know to wear it as a dangler. There's a couple of skewers I carry with this. This is my fishing knife since it's 420 stainless. You know, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's right there. And it's oil core outdoors. Okay. Now, yeah, this is the original, you know, button part that came with the compass. I just put some electrical tape on it and just, you know, sits there flush tight, you know doesn't get in the way and this part you know when I'm using it it doesn't bother me it doesn't get in the way as much so anyway yeah these are the skewers that I carry with this knife because uh, well, I don't know I like to make sure my meat is cooked from the inside you know and when these babies heat up on the campfire they make sure your meat's cooked on the inside <coughs> as I was saying I put a D-ring here Got rid of the original straps that were on here. It was just that fake leather, dermantine stuff with the button-up lock. I took that off. Same kind of a strap, you know, from an old backpack. Same as same as on this end right here. And um, put some Velcro, you know, put a Velcro uh, uh, to keep this in, in place. And, uh, you know, originally this, this sheath came flimsy like this, okay? But what I did was this, see the insert right there? I made this insert from a lid, of a, a Tupperware lid, actually. You know, it's very flexible, as you can see. What I did was cut the template, fold it, scotch tape it, and insert it in there. Now, I can't even get it out. It's, it's fixed on there. And uh, this little strap right here is, has a multi-purpose as well, you know? This is the thing that attaches to the D-ring to make it, you know, a dangler style to wear a dangler style okay that's just the piece of velcro over here right there okay this also uh works as a a strap uh to attach pouches to the knife in case i want to put i don't want to take too much with me just you know all all in one package kind of when i'm going fishing just you know little odds and ends like hooks and you know sinkers maybe fire kit or you know some first aid small first aid kit some cordage blah 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 you know let me just show you with my uh this is my camera pouch okay i'm going to show you how this works with the camera pouch just so you get a vague notion of uh, how this thing looks with everything on there I mean, or what I'm talking about, I guess. So, yeah, we're going to strap that on here. And once you, once you seal this nice and tight, it's on there. I mean, this thing's not coming off. Just push it up a little, make sure it's tight. And there we go. We've got a pouch attached to it. 
Sorry, I did it in a hurry, so it's kind of like all crooked and stuff, but you know, you could do a better job. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. No, it's on there. It's not going to come off. It's not coming off. Once you get it nice and tight, it won't come off. There we go. You see that? Yeah, I'm pulling on it and it's on there. You know, if I pull from here, from these parts, yeah, it'll come off. But once the pouch is on there, the pressure it falls on here. So it keeps it nice and tight on the sheath. So, um, basically, we've got, you know, odds and ends in here, skewers, you know, for cooking right there next to the knife, and the uh, stainless steel knife, which, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, rusting if it falls in the water. Plus, it's a cheap knife, you know, if I lose it or it gets damaged or something, no big deal, you know. It's not like, you know, one of my... Uh, one of my expensive knives or like a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollar you know Nessimook or a bushel or you know but yeah I was gonna tell you I baton with this knife uh, and it the the way to baton with this knife is you know the the tang of this knife is very short it's a partial tang it's about that much right there so when you're batoning okay if uh, if this, this is the only tool that you have and you absolutely have to baton I would suggest holding it from this end of it okay um, like unlike you know a full tang knife where you would hold it back here this this is where the end of the tang is on this knife so I would suggest holding it right there and you have this space right here that gives you plenty of room to hold on to and you've got you know all this space right here all this blade here to work you know with at least the fist size uh, pieces of wood you know baton uh, fist size pieces of wood uh, that's the secret some of the secrets I wanted to share with you guys um, <coughs> what about this uh, fairly inexpensive I mean I don't even remember how much it was I got it a couple of years ago it was like about what five I got it for like five or six dollars it's got a nice little attitude adjuster here as well you know as you can see I've used it to do some nailing you know drive some nails into into wood and you know I usually use this to crack nuts walnuts hazelnuts whatever but yeah it's functional um, so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments I'm not in this for the likes or the subscriptions but your comments are very interesting for me to read thanks a lot guys take care